everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lydia, this is Nuki. In today's practice, we're going to be going through a beautiful mandala sequence that's working towards um, opening up your hamstrings. So, really trying to lengthen through the hamstrings. So, this is going to be a really good one for runners or anyone really who's got tight hamstrings like me. So, um, without further ado, let's come and meet on the mat. Take a moment now to arrive on your mat. Few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Now that you're feeling a little bit more relaxed, bring the awareness to the intention. Joining the hands to the center of the heart. Start to reflect that everything we do hangs on intention. Perhaps cultivating the wish as practitioners to live each moment with the intention of not causing harm with our actions and words to others. Releasing the hands, let's meet on all fours. Let's extend our right leg back and start to move backwards and forwards. Holding the weight back now, extending through the hamstrings. Tuck the other toe and then press back into a modified one-legged downward facing dog. Coming back down to tabletop position, swapping across, left leg extends, moving backwards and forwards a few times, and then send the weight back into the ball of the foot and just lean back here. Take a moment. Tuck the right toes and push the hip up to your modified downward facing dog. Coming back now to all fours. Sitting back on the heels, take a rest in child's pose. Breathing in as you lift back up and push up into Adho Mukha Svanasana, your downward facing dog. Feel free to bend the knees or walk the dog as they say if your hamstrings are feeling a little tight. Breathing in. And exhale, make your way to the top of the mat, elbow to elbow, and just sway the torso from right to left. Relax through the neck, make sure you're not holding on to any tension around the shoulders. Hands down as you gently guide the body back up to Tadasana, your mountain pose. Coming tall, feet together, hands to the center of the chest. Take a deep breath in. And out. Arms out to the side, inhale. Exhale, draw it back to the heart space. Inhale, gazing up to the thumbs. Fold all the way down to Uttanasana. Bend the knees if you need to. Step the right foot back, followed by the left to your high plank pose. Lower down to the knees and chest chin lowers. Coming up to Cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes to downward facing dog. Turn the heels to face each other and point the toes out to 10 and 1 o'clock. Now lift the right leg up to the sky. Make sure that your left heel is still pressed down towards the earth. You can come up onto the fingertips and reach your left hand back for the heel as much as possible. Left hand comes back forwards, right foot through, rising up into high lunge. Straighten the right leg and simply fold the chest across the extended right leg. Feel the hamstring stretch here. Rebend into the right knee into high lunge. Straighten up and turn out to the sides. Hands to the waist as you pigeon toe the feet and fold down. 
hands can come down to the earth and refold. Think about drawing the crown of the head down towards the mat. Rise back up onto the fingertips. Frame your back foot. You're facing the back of the mat now. Vinyasa. Upward facing dog. And take it back to your down dog. Stay a few breaths here and really start to concentrate on lengthening your hamstrings. Heels coming down to the earth. Heels together, point the toes out to the side, extend your right leg up to the sky. Again, option to stay here or simply walk your left hand back to grab hold of the inside of the heel. Breathe. Enjoy the stretch. Step the right foot forward. So we're going to come back into the high lunge. The same flow as we just did. Straighten up the right leg and fold chest onto thigh. Rebending into your high lunge position. Straighten the leg. Turn out to the side now. Pigeon toe the feet and fold into your Prasarita Padottanasana. Wide forward fold, head coming down to the earth as much as possible. Rise up onto the fingertips, face the front of the mat, vinyasa here, and we're going to meet back in a downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Imagine as though your hamstrings and calves are being pulled back into space. Center the body. Bend your knees, step jump or a little hop to the front. Lift your chest and lengthen. Fall to Uttanasana. Reach the arms up, lengthen the whole body, and bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, arms go back up. Exhale, waterfall straight down. Lifting up halfway and lengthen. Step it back to plank. Knees, just chin or chaturanga. Make sure the elbows are close to your waist. Cobra or up dog. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Breathing in and exhale. Heels together, toes out. This time lift your left leg up to the sky. Right hand maybe on fingertips or walk it back to grab hold of the inside of the heel. One straight line from your left hand to the left tip toes. Right palm down, let's step through to high lunge position. Reach the arms high, straighten your left leg, and simply fold the chest on the thighs. You're still up on the ball of the back foot. Rebend into knee, arms go high, straighten up, pigeon toe the feet out to the side for your wide forward fold. So you're facing the side at this point. Lift up halfway and travel to face the back of the mat. Lower through a vinyasa. Take it up into Urva Mukha. And exhale back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. You now have five deep breaths here. If the heels are already down to the mat, Think about extending your spine and drawing the crown of the head down as you extend the arms. Heels in, toes out to the sides. Lift your left leg up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. Right hand on fingertips or walk it back to try and grab hold of the heel. Breathing here. 
Release the right hand, quietly step through for a high lunge. Arms go high, straighten up and fold forwards. Breathing here. As you rebend into the knee, arms go high. Turn to the side, toes in, heels back. Gently fold, release the hands down and try and draw the crown of the head down to the earth. Make your way now to the front of the mat. Take a vinyasa and we will shortly meet back in downward facing dog and spend this time to connect back to the earth. If you need a child's pose, take it down. Remember you can always turn the practice towards whatever the body needs. Make your way back to down dog and then step, jump or float to the front. Closing the mandala, lift yourself halfway and fall to Uttanasana. Arms reach up, gaze tall and bring the hands to the center of chest. Deep breath in and out. Step your feet hip distance apart. Peace fingers wrap around the big toe. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees. Draw the elbows out to the sides and fold your chest down in between that vacant space. The elbows are really kind of coming out to the sides here and you're using your bicep strength to pull you down. If you can straighten the legs, go for it. Breathe. Come up onto your fingertips now. Padahastasana, slide the palms of the hands underneath your feet. The toes should meet the wrist crease. Again, start by bending the knees, relax the neck. And then after a few breaths, should you feel comfortable, maybe start to extend the legs. Break the pose on your fingertips. Exhale, hands to the hips and inhale, rise all the way to the top. From here, we're gonna step out to the side. Again, pigeon toe your feet. Hands to the heart, preparing for skandasana, so the ninja pose. Let's start by bending into the right knee you're on the heel of your left foot and your left toes are pointing high. You can stay high or low. If you're coming low, maybe working the bind. So your right hand wraps around the knee and then your left hand goes behind you. See if you can reach your fingertips. Send the gaze upwards and think about externally rotating that chest. You can either place the hands down to lift you up, or if you don't need your hands, use your banda to drive up. Start to make your way to the other side. Remember when we're working with asymmetrical poses, don't expect the right and the left side to feel the same. So you may be better or worse off on this side, but that's okay. The most important is to be aware and to be happy in each of the poses. Slowly exit the pose as you come all the way back up to standing. Breathing in and then slowly sitting down, relaxing your seat down to the mat. We're coming into the head to knee pose now or Janushir Sasana in Sanskrit. Right foot to the inside of the thigh, arms up, breathe in, and then fold your chest down. The hands can go wherever it lands. You can make it restorative and just let your body fall. If you want to go a little bit deeper with more yang and energy, 
pull against your foot or the ankle. Make sure instead of rounding your back, you're really trying to lengthen. Slowly break the pose, make your way across to the other side. Left knee coming down, arms up, inhale, and folding across to your head to knee pose. Remember to keep the extended foot flexed. So what we mean by that is your toes are pointing up towards the sky. Slowly lifting back up and we're going to extend both legs forwards, bending the knees now. Inhale, arms up, rest your chest on the thighs. Two piece fingers, again around the big toes. Paschimottanasana. With the intention of keeping the chest down on your thighs, see how far you can go without creating a gap here. So you want to really try and keep your chest and your thighs firmly planted towards each other. When you do this, you're not only lengthening your hamstrings, but you are also promoting length in your spine. Lifting back up and let's come to meet on the back of our mats. Hug the knees into the chest and rock from side to side. Just massage out that lower back. Hugging the left knee into the chest. We're gonna extend that left leg. Point the toes, your hands can be interlaced around your thighs, maybe the calves, maybe the ankle. You can pull as far as it feels good. Remember, if you need a strap, use your strap to loop around the leg. Moving across to the right side now, right knee in, and then slowly begin to extend all the way up as you lengthen through the hamstrings, this time on the right side. Head and shoulders still remain heavy down on the mat. Release the leg down, maybe shaking out the knees, the feet. Let your palms rest next to your hips. We're gonna move into Shavasana, where deep healing and relaxation can now take place. Slow down the breath. Let go of any type of contrived breathing. And let your body sink. Start to move your fingers and the toes, rocking neck from side to side. Knees into the chest, take a few rocks. Find yourself lying on the right side. Take your time. Guide yourself up to a comfortable seat and just take a moment to acknowledge how the body feels now. Has there been any shifts that have occurred in your physical and emotional body? Let us dedicate the fruits of our practice towards the well-being of all living beings. Hands to the heart. May our actions 
be it of body, speech, and mind, be in line with kindness and compassion always. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in today's practice, you guys. It was a pleasure to serve you. If you are enjoying the practices, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly classes to your inbox. In the meantime, keep a happy mind and a happy heart. Namaste.